Focus and color palettes are pretty straightforward, mostly because they include a small amount of parameters that pretty much always relate to each other. For instance, you're always going to use pan and tilt at the same time in most cases. However, beam breaks the rules a little bit, and this is because beam is such a large category. For instance, I really don't want to have zoom and iris always together. I might just want to have zoom, or just have gobo, or just have focus. If I were to select these lights and make some changes to zoom, and want to record this as a beam palette, it would record all of the values for beam. So what I need to do is mask down to tell it exactly which parameters I want to work with. To do this, we're going to use the mask key located on the right-hand side of the console. First, we tap it to enable mask. If you notice, the mask icon has appeared at the top of the screen. The three dashes that follow the word mask indicate focus, color, and beam. Right now, we don't have any mask, so we need to push and hold mask and hit beam. At this point, we've now masked out the entire beam category. Notice in our attributes that there are dashes in all of the beam category parameters. If I was to record right now, all of that information would be ignored. We can mask this down even further by pushing and holding mask and tapping zoom. Notice the zoom value comes back. When I record this beam palette, it will ignore all of the other beam information except zoom. So to do this, I'll hit record direct select, tap the direct select I want, I'll call this Mac 2K, zoom out. Navigate down and hit modify. Now, if I want to turn mask off, I simply have to hit the mask key and it will restore back to normal. If I hit mask again, it will return me into the mask state I was in before. Notice the mask icon shows a lowercase b now instead of the uppercase b it was previously. This indicates that only a subset of beam is being masked. One, maybe two parameters but not the entire beam category. If I want to mask multiple parameters, I can push and hold mask and add other options in. So by pushing and holding mask and tapping the key for focus, I'm now creating a focus zoom mask. All other parameters of beam will be ignored except for these two. As I'm building my beam palettes, it's important to keep control over which parameters you want included in your palettes and not.